just inside Dollar Tree here and I noticed that they have a ton of sprinkles and some of them are still Easter based so they have these little carrots and eggs and bunnies This is a newer type of puzzle. These are always fun, they like pop around. Some Easter things still hanging around. It's like a little gumball machine. Just like looking at the pens and see if there's anything new here. Sorry about that, somebody just walked past. So they have Mechanical pencils made by Paper Mini. My kids are always asking me for more mechanical pencils. I don't know where theirs disappear to. It's the strangest thing. These are cute. They have little dividers. And they're perfect for a little purse too if you have notes to make. Some lined journals. These are newer as well. I actually um, need some pet brushes for, oh, these are the ones, no. They have a different bristle. Oh my goodness, here they are. These ones here. I need them for um, a couple DIYs. I actually need two, so I think I better grab another one right now. Yep. a little tip that if you see pattern ribbon like this and you like it make sure you buy it because as soon as this hits the shelf it sells really quick These would work well in an indoor fairy garden, but I'm not sure that they would last outdoors. They have a ton of things here for you if you are into making fairy gardens. Lots of moss, the round balls. These are new as well, moss wreaths. If you're looking for a nautical theme, they have some really cute things like this here that you can fill up with shells or sand and put them as home decor on a tray or in a bathroom. And they have shells that they sell and pebbles, I guess jar filler and things like that. So you have a few options here. I've been adding these foil balloons to gift baskets if my daughter has like a little friend who has a birthday. And it looks so cute. I'll insert a picture or some footage at the end of the video to give you an idea on how I've been using them. But she loves it. She just thinks it's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, I think these are fairly new, aren't they? I always like adding something to her birthday decor for the morning when I decorate the kitchen area. I've shared with you how I've done that before. Oh, this is cute.
grab that in a minute. Just finish sharing with you these beautiful puzzles. These make for great cake toppers if you have a birthday thing and you find the right decor or a little figurine they make a great cake topper. I'm actually surprised that these containers haven't sold out yet. They, um, they have the little compartment. I'm wondering if they're great for other organization in the craft room. And some of them have four. This one here has the four side snaps. This is such a great find because those who use lockers at work and need a combination padlock, this is such a great, well, it's just a great price. Still no cherry pie filling. I don't know what's going on with the cherry pie filling. And chocolate sprinkles. I always like looking in this area because sometimes they have even snacks for the kids. School lunches like Rice Krispies were here a while ago. This is a fairly new item put on the shelf. It's already got a grinder built into it. Question for you is pine glow like pine saw? It's made in the US and this is a newer find here at our local Dollar Tree. So I'm just wondering if the product is I don't know if you've used it, if you like it, if it smells nice. Okay, so we'll head down this aisle here, which is, I guess, the makeup and toiletry. Well, this one has toiletries. You'll see some here, the little mini travelers. And then the bigger toiletries are actually in a different aisle. And they have these mini acts. These are really tiny little bottles. They're the travel ones. The Live Clean, though, is this regular size sunscreen. Sometimes it's hard to tell in the videos. Lots of razors. And there's the small bottles of Gillette shaving cream or gel, shaving gel.
The noble man, actually, I had spotted at a different dollar store for a lot more money. And they have a bunch of face facial cleansing brushes again. If I do buy the cotton pads, I like these ones. They're really large they're, and they're really nice quality. And these are new. Has anyone tried these nude lipsticks? I'm standing here looking, standing here looking at this mouthwash. And I'm wondering, Nature Fresh. Is that something that they normally carry here? I don't know if that's a brand name. Maybe somebody would know. Take a look at the baby stuff. They have some cute things out right now, like little, oh my gosh, look at these little headbands. <laughs> the big flower. I'll take a quick peek at the nails because I know some of you really like looking at the different options in prints. Nothing really new. This color is quite fun now for this spring, but I don't think they have any new patterns yet. I'm sure we'll see some soon. So this aisle here has the full size, you know, toiletry needs and things. So there's like makeup on one side and then items such as these on in a different aisle. So every store is diff set up differently. So just be mindful when you're walking up and down the aisles. They always have new things too to keep an eye out for. See, this is new and I don't know this brand. Has anyone, does anyone have any information on this one? Body wash. There's some Dove hand cream. I know some of you really love it. And oh my goodness, Rusk Waveless Hairspray. This hairspray is easily $20 at a hair salon because that's a brand name. The craft aisle these days has been the busiest aisle of them all. So every time I walk in, I usually beeline it for this aisle. And as soon as I walk in here, there's usually a whole bunch of people shopping for things. So I have to come back when it's quieter. These are all the wall stickers if you like to decorate or use them on wood signs and things like that. They have new stickers out right now. Aren't these so cute? I think I might have to buy myself a pack. I've been so good lately with stickers. I have so many I need to use up. I think I purchased these. Do you ever have a moment where, oh, these are great too for making cards. 
um, you buy something and then you don't really remember. My goodness, because you looked at it. This is a great find. Craft glue set. There's three types in here. Wood, fabric. Yeah, it's a... I don't know if I need it because I have the Yelene's brand, I think. I think that's the company that I normally... The mats keep getting restocked, which is awesome. If I was still playing around with beads, I would definitely buy this. But I haven't really been playing with the beads lately, making bracelets or char like charms and stuff like that. Oh, this is clear gel. I think that they had this for a while and then it sold out. Now it's back. Foam and poster board by the Beacon brand, which I purchased the spray adhesive and I haven't tried it to be honest. Maybe if anybody has, they could give some feedback glass beads. See? Oh, I love these for organizing all my little trinkets. They don't really have any canvas boards with the wood frame, so um, now I don't know which way to go. I feel like I've gone up and down the aisles, but I feel out of sorts because I usually started the craft aisle and have my routine. So I think I'm going to head back towards the front of the store and just take one last look because I think I missed a little corner. So yeah, at the front here they have some little bits of Easter stuff left, but it's really not. I guess it's just like the colors that they've mixed in here. When I see little spaces like this, it usually gives me a hint that there might be something new coming. So maybe a new flower. But for the most part, they're well stocked. Ah, oh, this is a new find in the store. Anyways, I'm going to head to the checkout. I think I've done all the aisles. And until next time, everyone, I hope you enjoyed walking around with me. Bye for now.